Uh, excuse me, miss. Miss? Great party last night. Oh, it's been ages since I had a good boogie. Yes, your naked conga was certainly an icebreaker. The human centipede works every time. Well, it's a shame the Costa Blanca citizen doesn't share your enthusiasm. Oh, dear. Under the new management of Joyce Thimble Savage, I ask you, the Solana is fast developing a reputation as the faulty towers of the Costa Blanca. Injured guests, broken rooms, and sordid pool parties are showing Benidorm in the worst possible light. Well, we've been coming for over 20 years, and we've always been fully satisfied, haven't we, darling? Oh, yes. At least once a day. This is a disaster. One more foul up, I could lose my job. Well, if there's anything we can do to release the pressure a little, just let us know. It's Mr. and Mrs. Stewart, isn't it? Donald and Jacqueline, please. Can I rely on your discretion? Absolutely. We never kiss and tell. Would you mind coming to my personal quarters after breakfast? I've got something in mind that I'd, I'd quite like to try out. I think we'd find that most agreeable. Uh, we did have you pegged as someone who was curious. <laughs> I'm more than curious. Make sure you're not followed. Walls have ears. See? I told you she was one of us. And that last is worthy of the name all-inclusive. I think I'm gonna vom. Oh. Oh, I had a visit from the beer badger last night. You know, the one that nicks all your money and then cracks it in your mouth. God, I feel rough. Oh, What the hell happened last night? I remember snogging Liam and then jumping in pool. What time do we get to bed? About half past two. Jesus! Morning, lover. You got any mouthwash? Después. Sí. A las dos. That sounded intense. What did you hear? Nothing. I just mean your tone of voice, your body language. To keep your eyes off my body. All right, pal, none of my beeswax. But remember, a problem shared is a problem halved. What do you mean? I'm just saying, if you let me in, maybe I can halve your problem. You have my problem? No, no, I halve your problem. Why do you want to have my problem? You have enough problems of your own. I know, I just... Have you never heard the phrase, a shoulder to cry on? No. Well, it just means I can help you. I can give you sucker. Uh, hey, what is this? No sexy in the workplace. No, 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 man, I don't mean... I just mean, if you just open up oh, to me... Oh, that's enough. Excuse me. I can help you, man. No. But I can't. Hey. Oh, shove it up your... Ay, shay, shay, women's leche. Yeah, she is. When I'm working with me, who can blame him? Good morning, everybody. Joyce Temple Savage here saying, Buenos dias, senores and senores. She doesn't let up with them bloody announcements, does she? Oh, the woman's got no class. Not got a clue how to run a business. As my Mel used to say, you've either got it or you've not. Isn't that what I used to say to the bailiffs and all? I should choose to ignore that. Have you seen this? What? Apparently, there's a gang going about Benidorm kidnapping people off the streets. Oh, don't talk rot. It'll be young s coming here drinking themselves silly and climbing into cars with fellas. No, it says here they're stealing people's organs. A young woman from Chorley went missing for three days, then turned up dazed and confused in the car park behind the KFC. Mrs. Benidorm, that's a good night out, is that? Claimed she'd been drugged and had a big scar where her kidney used to be. Bloody hell. Oi, oi, young man, language. You're not too old for a smack on the ass, you know. Oh, it's big business. Kidneys, lungs. Says here, Benidorm is becoming the organ theft capital of Spain. Morning. Only me. I'm sorry to be late. I was halfway down in the lift and I realised I'd left my tiddlywinks in the room. Oh. <laughs> Not to worry. I've got them now. Is that one free? 
Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, flame and neck. That gang didn't leave a number, did they? Staff announcement, staff announcement. Will all members of the poolside team please report to my office? All poolside staff to la oficina, por favor. Gracias. I don't know what you see in that drip. I don't see anything. Just because a smile doesn't mean I'll be tugging at his budgie smugglers. There's no harm in a smile. I smile? <laughs> no, you snarl. No wonder you've not had a whiff of it since you've been here. The Solana can be a four-star hotel. And in the words of Susan Boyle, I have a dream. This is about standards, and I have invited the editor of Costa Class, Victor St. James, to review the Solana. Costa Class? I never hear of this. Well, it's a witch hotel magazine for Spain. A magazine for witches. Do English people are crazy? This gentleman deals in top-end accommodations, so we have to show him how classy and professional we are. Well, I think I can speak on behalf of all of us when I say that we've been working our b**ks off, so it's only a matter of time till we are sh in class. Yes, but we don't have any time, because he's coming tonight. Tonight? Oh, there, but it was my night off. I know this is very short notice, but Mr St James expects the very best. So I've sent the chef home and... Mateo, I want you in the kitchen. Puta madre. Sounds lovely, but I think we'll stick to paella, traditional Spanish. Leslie. <laughs> Although Victor probably did go to public school and has seen it all, I think you should take the night off and allow Les to handle this. Oh, God bless you, Mrs Savage. I haven't had a night on for... Oh, I mean, it's a disaster. It's an unmitigated disaster. Well, I have to say, I haven't taken to the floor for some time. <laughs> well, you nearly took to the floor for the last time, the way our friend in blue was dragging you around the room. Does he owe you money or something? You what? I mean, a lady of your petite size should have style and grace to spare, but it's just terrible. What's your name, my darling? My name is Madge. Madge. I just don't know where to start. Your head position is all over the place. Your lines were dreadful. You're not extending from the hip. <laughs> I'm lost for words. Really? Well, for somebody who doesn't know what to say, you're something of a gobshite. I beg your pardon? Listen here. I was doing the Viennese waltz before you could walk. And don't talk to me about style and grace. Standing there looking like a busted orange with your nylon wig and your big girl's blouse. And as for extending from the hip, I'll be extending my right fist into that fat, ugly face of yours if you don't learn some manners. Ladies and gents, I think it's time for a break. Yeah, be your fat neck if I get another peep out of you. Look, Maud. Madge! Madge! You're very welcome to leave at any time. I am merely here to offer people some expert advice and point them in the right direction. Direction? You couldn't direct piss into a bucket. Mother, sit down. Yeah, show Squirrel some respect. Thank you. I, I beg your pardon? You had a teacher, she's the pupil. She should show you some respect. No, I mean, what did you call me? Squirrel. Squirrel? Yes, is your name. Squirrel Beacock. Is a stage name, Jess? Squirrel Big Cock. My name is Cyril Babcock. Oh. Is the same, no? No, it is not the same, and I'll thank you to keep your opinions to yourself. Your staff, you shall speak when you're spoken to. Hey, what is wrong with you? I was saying you are the teacher. If I was teaching someone to dance, I would want some respect. Yes, well, you're not a dancer. You bop up spilt drinks for a living. Now, go sit down, young man. Right, I think we could all do I with it. I can dance better than you. Would you care to repeat that? I can dance better than you. Are you challenging me to a dance-off, young man? Matteo versus Squirrel. Let's do it. Music!
Roland Mutty who I would have done so. Well, he's here to teach. He shouldn't be dancing like that. He's got a heart condition. Do you know him, like? Well, we worked together in a club med resort in the early 90s. I was a rep. And Cyril and his wife, well, they were resident dancing instructors. We were very close. I mean, just good friends, because he was my man. Anyway, uh, that was all a long time ago. is in my back. Get it out now. Oh, God, it's buzzing. Get it off me! It's my phone. <laughs> Must have fallen asleep playing snake. Now you know how I feel. It's from my brother. Oh, does he not know we're on holiday? Oh, God. What? <laughs> what? It's not your dad, is it? Oh, God. I'm so sorry. You will be. They're coming to Benidorm. Your dad can mix a mean cocktail, but he's rubbish at nicking stuff for work. No, he's, he's choosing a new pair of breasts. Oh, of course. Silly me. I hope he don't go too big. I wouldn't want my dad to look ridiculous. No, you wouldn't want that. Mm. I think I'm just going to lie on this lounger all day and not move. They'll have to scrape me off with a fish slice. Knock yourself out. That's the beauty of an all-inclusive. You don't have to move. You even get free entertainment. I might drag myself in the pool a bit later, though. I could do with working off a few pounds. Oh, Bish. Look really good. <laughs> 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 she's lost loads of weight, you know. That one with a face like a dog's chew toy. She's really thin now. So would I be if I'd had him rolling on top of me for 30 years. <laughs> Is Uncle Pete really coming to Spain, Dad? Well, apparently. And Grandad Garvey? Yeah, they're here for Uncle Pete's stag do. Oh, cool, can I go? No, you bloody can't. It's going to you, Marda. She should be happy for him. I've got enough on my plate right now without having to organise a stag do for him and his idiot mates. He might have organised his own stag do. Why does my dad not like Uncle Pete? He's a bone idle, lazy, tight. That's why. I'm saying nothing. Where the friggin' hell have you been? You've missed breakfast, you know. They tried to give us all peppermint tea. Peppermint tea in a glass. I said I'd rather drink my own. Mother! Well, what are they thinking, giving us muck like that? It's good for your digestion. B***s! Fag and a couple of rennies keep me regular. Hey, ma'am, we're having visitors. Pete and his mates are coming over for his stag. Not gormless, Pete. Your brother. Yeah. Oh, Christ, who'd marry that big useless lump? Hey, some of us love our big useless lumps, don't we, darling? I'm not in the mood. I'm off to reception to wait for him. Well, you want to keep your eye on him. I know what these stag nights are like. They'll be tottering round from one sex bar to the next, drinking tequila slappers, licking cream off a stripper. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Anyway, my mate don't like squirty cream, do you? Oh, you mark my words, Janice. If he goes out on this stag, you'll not see him till six o'clock tomorrow morning when they'll be coming in prophylactic. All right, Mother, we've heard you. Why are they coming to Benidorm? Why are you texting me? Is your brother? 
Ooh. You'll be all right. Doris! Doris! Open this door now! Do you hear me? Open this door! What in God's name do you think you're doing? I might very well say the same to you. What have you done to my salon? I'm not discussing it here. Oh, no, you don't, lady. We'll sort this out here and now. Oh, my God, when did this happen? When did what happen? When were you burgled? Um, last night. Oh, Jesus. I better go and check my apartment. I'll see you downstairs. Not that bad. Today, finally, we have our hotel star rating assessment. That fourth star is so close, I can practically taste it. You're going to give us a heads up, like, when the assessor arrives. You know, just so we make sure he's looked after. The assessor is already here. She arrived yesterday morning. And thankfully, I'm not as stupid as you all look. I have personally put her in the penthouse suite on the 21st floor. Didn't know we had a penthouse suite. Didn't know we had a 21st floor. She's been enjoying complimentary room service ever since she arrived, but there is no way she can award us our four stars without checking all the facilities. Maybe I can give her some room service. I don't mind her checking my facilities. Mrs Simmons is a very sophisticated woman. I want you going absolutely nowhere near her. Leslie, I'm appointing you to look after her. Nay, bother. And if any of the guests approach her, I want them removed from the building. Right, I'm meeting her by the pool in ten minutes. Class dismissed. <laughs> Temple Savage, you I have just spent the last 15 minutes with two cleaners trying to get into my room. Your belongings have all been packed away and are in plastic bags in the storeroom. Don't make a scene, Mr Dubeck. I don't wish to involve the police. The police? I'm a couple of weeks late with me rent not drowning holidaymakers in the pool, you big drama queen. Mr Dubeck, please lower your voice. We have a hotel assessor in the building, and I do not wish to have a full-on cat fight in the middle of reception. Don't you? Well, I bloody well do. Kenneth, what are you doing? I think he's upset about something. You make me all bang! Kenneth, he has, how do you say, lost his plot. He's lost his bloody mind. He's definitely lost his job. <laughs> oh, my God. That teeth! You broke them over a teeth! Now who needs a police? Now who needs a police, eh? Uh, if you want to rematch, just whistle. If you can. I just look like this. Where are they? <laughs> Sorry, I don't work here. But you just said you did. No, I said I work here. Well, if you work in there, what are you doing out here? Well, I am allowed to move about, you know. When a customer comes in, they don't just appear in the corner of the shop like Mr Ben. Who's Mr Ben? Is that the manager? No, he's that... Look, I have nothing to do with them. I pay them to be here. Oh, you mean you're here on holiday? Well, why didn't you say? Listen, I'm here on my own if you fancy a game of dominoes later. Gavin! 
They've lost the luggage. Oh, come here. Welcome back to paradise. How have they lost the luggage? They put oh. the cases in the coach as we were getting on. It's no good telling him he doesn't work here. We need to find Mr. Ben. Oh. Where's Troy? I'm here on my own. What? So am I. Why don't we have a threesome? I beg your pardon? Dominoes. Oh, no. I've just remembered. They were in my case as well. Oh, blood and sand. Excuse me. So, this is the Empire. No wonder Vidal Sassoon has retired. The, 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 what do you mean, you're here on your own? Look, can we talk about this later? I need to see them about my luggage. Oh, there's no manager here till this afternoon. Come on, I want to know why you're here on your own. Well, aren't you going to give me the grand tour? Oh, it's just two sinks and a set of heated rollers. Come on. I think me and you need to have a little talk. Well, have you got any dominoes I can borrow till the cases turn up? I'm here on my own and they were going to be my icebreaker. I think you should explain to us why not only have all our cases disappeared into thin air, but why no one was there to meet and greet when we got off the bus. Meet and greet? Where do you think you are? Disneyland? Do I look like a mouse? Oh, what about a pack of cards? You must have a pack of cards. I think you should watch what you say, young man. I've got a lot of experience in the travel industry. I spent three years under Richard Branson. Ooh! Is he the fella in the balloon? I always thought he was one of the Bee Gees. <laughs> and that coach driver was positively possessed. There's a 60-year-old woman with angina sitting outside, breathing into a paper bag. I've never had a journey like it in my life. Look, the company who drive the coach are the responsibles. You need to talk to your travel company rep, not me, OK? No, 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 it isn't OK, and I want your name. Matteo. My name is Matteo. You blind as well as stupid? <gasps> blind man's buff. You only need a scarf for that. Oh. Mind you, that's in my case as well. Please excuse my associate. He's still learning the language. Get out of the pool bar. This place is full of pot. All the cases are missing. How uh -oh. do you expect people to start their holidays when they haven't got any clothes to change into? Well, I'm sure we can liaise with the coach company and track down your cases before the end of the day. <laughs> right. In the meantime, we will be happy to temporarily lift the no swimming and underpants restriction for the gents. And ladies can have full access to my personal wardrobe of bikinis and summer dresses. Well, I suppose that's... Thank you, pardon. Oh, Hazel. Uh, Ace has just got a couple of numbers, then we'll be ready for your girls in about 15 minutes, all right? No, it is most certainly not all right. Look... <laughs> What's wrong with them? They are inebriated. That is what's wrong with them. It seems the offish handyman you sent them out with saw fit to coerce them onto a party boat and ply them with alcohol. They can still do their aerobics, though, can't they? I beg your pardon? I mean, that's water dancing thingy. We've got fireworks and everything. I arrived here with six Olympic athletes and I'm leaving with a gaggle of drunkards reeking of vomit and tequila. Welcome to Benidorm. Listen, Pet, why don't you just let them get in the water and have a bit splash of boot? I mean, we can announce it as a Paralympic team. This lot they not even know the difference. How dare you? That is deeply, deeply insulting. Yeah, I mean... Oh. Oh, no! It's a disaster. I'm going to be a laughing stock. Leave this to me, Pat. Oh. Matty, you follow me. Kenneth! <laughs> Sam, what's going on? What the hell are you doing? I'm drunk. I'm desperate. Are you standing in front of me, OK? This could be the start of a beautiful friendship. I'm to you anyway. Don't pull. Yeah. I pulled this. Is that a red snapper? Hey! Her name's Trudy. <laughs> <laughs> so, are these what they call the chains of office? Oh, well, we've got some chains in our room, but they're not quite as fancy as that. I think I see Troy in the bushes. Ooh, a 
having a bit of a secret tryst, are they? That's what I love about the gays. They'll do it anywhere. No, it's a photo. Look, probably blew down off Gavin's balcony. Let's go up there and return it to him. See if we can't entice him down to join in the fun. Yes, good idea. <laughs> Don't go away, cos I'll be back in a jiffy. Here, have some of this and loosen up a bit. Gold. Thank you. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. That was Asa Elliott singing gold. Um, I'm afraid there's been a slight change to the um, published schedule in that the synchronised swimming display has had to be cancelled. Yes, I know, I'm sorry. So if you'd like to make your way to the exits, which you'll find located here, here, Harry! and here. Harry! What? It might not be Esther Williams, but we're going to try and put a shoe up for you. Come on, stop fiddling with your bits and dive in. It's so comfortable. Oh, I see your doctors between your legs. No, I haven't got cheeky. Oh. <laughs> Tom Daly, eat your heart out. <laughs> Time, son? Yeah. Why the long face then? Well, I want to jump in the pool with everyone else, but my mum's not going to let me. No, she's not. I'm going to throw you in. <laughs> Come on then, one, two, three! Whoa. 